Hey guys, today we are going to play with the items from my Chic Beauty Box. This is the May June Chic Beauty Box. I'm really excited because I haven't done a full face of makeup in a little bit over a week. I pre-filmed a lot of the videos that went live while I was on vacation. And yeah, like I literally packed no foundation, one concealer, and honestly, I probably wore any sort of makeup while I was on vacation twice out of like a seven day period. So that's a lot for me and my skin. Honestly, look at it. It's not necessarily loving me right about now. I have to exfoliate. I have to do my full like skincare routine for the next three days in order to really see the improvement on my skin. But you know what? It's not too bad. I feel like it doesn't come across really bad on camera, but in person, I do have texture. I did get like mini breakouts because I was eating like poop, okay? I wasn't eating poop. I was not eating poop to be clear but I was eating so crappy the entire time. What's a vacation if you're not doing whatever the hell you wanna do, right? So we're gonna go ahead and play around with some makeup. If you haven't seen the unboxing of the Chic Beauty Box, make sure you click up here. It is gonna be linked up here and as usual, you will find the link and, uh, and the discount code in the description box down below. So in the event that you wanna sign up, it's always down below for you. You get a discount, I get nothing out of it. I'm lying. I do get something out of it. I get the satisfaction that you're not paying full price for the box if you're interested in snagging it. Okay, so you already know that my skin is very poopy. So we are going to prep and moisturize the skin. I did wash it, but she looks like crap. She's kind of dull and she's not loving me right now. So we're gonna use the Clarins SOS Primer. This is their, the one that's supposed to brighten sallow skin. It's supposed to prep and moisturize. We're gonna do all of that. Uh, I like this one. It comes with a pump I've received. The other ones that you have to kind of squeeze out, I like the pumpage a lot better. <gasps> Did I overdo it? Maybe, maybe not. That was like a pump and a half. I'm glad I'm going in with foundation because this is just not working right now. This, this looks... <laughs> okay. We're gonna give the skin about two minutes and I'm gonna go get, I'm, I literally just got here, okay? So I'm gonna go get my makeup bag that's still packed because I have like my setting powders and stuff in there and I really, really need it. So I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some foundation on top of this product. Where's my little clips, man? I gave them to Ty and they're just, she never returned them. So I'm just gonna do one of these and hope for the best. Now, be mindful that your girl doesn't tan her skin, but I kind of tanned a little bit. I don't know what happened, just a smidge. So this foundation shade may not necessarily match me as good as it did before vacation, but that's okay, because we're gonna make it work. I am using the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. Uh, this is their foundation in the shade seven, neutral. I do have one shade darker, so I might just have to do that. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but we are gonna pray on it. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna bronze, we're gonna hook it up. And I am going to lightly apply this because again, my skin is not loving me, but I I also want to feel cute today. You know, we, we gotta feel cute, okay. So yeah, vacation was good, I vlogged. Um, but before you guys see that, I am gonna throw other vlogs out there which were supposed to go out while I was on vacation, but life happened. Um, like people are still waiting for the video where the bee situation, that's gonna go up before the vacation vlog. So you might see probably like two to three videos this week prior to actually seeing the vacation vlog, but I promise you, you're gonna see it all because I just fell behind. You know, I'm trying to be super mom here. And this is what you call fake the funk. You try your best and you may not necessarily always impress, you know, but I, I, I've been trying my best. Yeah, me, how my neck is a little darker. And at this point, this is, all my foundations are gonna kind of look like this. So we're gonna overly bronze to hook your girl up. Okay, Um, I feel like I'm gonna try this once again, once my tan has somewhat faded. Usually my tan fades within like a week or two with all the skincare and all the stuff that I do. I'm gonna be real honest though. Like it's unfair to judge this when I just came back from having a tan and my skin is not at its best. So this foundation always looks absolutely flawless. And right about now, this is not looking flawless on me, but it's my skin's fault because I was on vacation. It's not the product's fault. So that's my thought process on the situation. I'm gonna set that to the side. Let me work on the rest of my face. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we've managed to look as normal as we possibly can today. Um, and I'm being really dramatic, I know. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the brow, uh, the brows. We're gonna work on the eyes. I primed with my clean canvas in medium this time because I wanna go with some of like 
the more like, you know, brownie and gold tones. So I don't have to go so, 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 so bright. And then of course, we are going to use the Fenty Beauty brush that I got in Le Books, if I could just get it out. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I am never ever perfect and nor do I ever strive to be perfect. I'm a human just like you are. So even though I try to be prepared half the time, I'm not and I have fun with it. So it kind of is what it is. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, selecting all notifications. That way YouTube lets you know every single time I release a new giveaway, announce giveaway winners, which is a big deal here on my channel. And they'll make sure to let you know when I release a brand new video or update you guys over on my community page. Now, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty brush and I am gonna multitask this brush because your girl don't feel like dirtying more brushes. I totally need to clean some brushes. We are going to use this brush and we're gonna pop that into this peachy shade over here. We're gonna take that at an angle and apply that onto the upper portion of the crease. We're gonna bring it up to the beginning of the brow. You know how odd it was to spend a week, not have to film any tutorials, talk throughs, unboxings. That was so odd to me. I've been doing this for the longest time, but for the past maybe three years, I've been uploading super consistently, easily, four, five, six, even seven times a week. So the fact that I wasn't uploading like physically filming videos and uploading every single day was odd. So this to me is total normalcy and I'm like so happy to be back to normal because again, it was weird. It was different, girl. Very, very different. I want to go gold, but I also kind of really, really like it. This shade here reminds me of pumpkin. I'm going to do that one because why not? I'm going to take that and I'm going to, oh, okay. I'm going to tap that all over the lid. I'm going to bring it about halfway, maybe like two thirds of the way through. And I think we're going to deepen the outer corner just a smidge, you smidge. I have the other palette. I got it in another beauty box with the purple tones in it. So pretty. So far, their formulas are really impressing me. But I'm even more impressed that Chic Beauty Box got a palette like this one in their box. That's amazing. I'm gonna dip into this darker shade, which is like the darker, darker shade in the palette. I don't wanna go too smoky, but I also don't wanna keep it like super light. So we're gonna go into that and I'm gonna tap that out here. And this is an opportunity for you guys to see that you can definitely multitask a brush. You don't need 500 brushes in order to make a look work. See, so I tapped that out here and then turned my brush at an angle and I brought that forward. If you're going to use one brush for an entire look, the trick is to go from lightest to darkest. You don't want to work around your dark shades and then be like, man, I kind of want to pop some light shade into the eye because then that's just not going to work. You would literally move around the darker shades onto areas that you don't want them to. So you focus on lighter and work onto your darker. Tapping into that brown again, I'm going to drag some of that under the eye. That shimmer shade is so freaking pretty. I'm gonna go ahead, do a little more blending. And then to top it off, I'm gonna go in to that very same shade. Oh my, this is so much prettier on the finger. Look how it shifts. I'll take that and I'm gonna tap some extra onto the lid so it'll be nice and intense. But of course we have to curl the lashes and pop on some mascara. So I'll do that and be right back. Now we are going to apply some highlighter. Thinking back, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have gone with shimmers on the eyeballs because this is really shimmery. This is the Rimmel London Jelly Highlighter. It is an illuminator in the shade Shifty Shimmer. Oh God, did I make a mistake is the question. This looks beautiful, okay? The only thing is I don't know how this is gonna work like on the cheeks. So I'll just dip into it. We'll see. It, it's 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 a jelly. It's definitely a jelly. So it's not like it's gonna spill anywhere. But oh, this would be really pretty on the eyes. Look at this. Look how pretty and shimmery this is. My only problem is it's really glittery. Some people like glittery. Some people don't. Oh no, I like this. Look how pretty and it shifts. Okay, so today is gonna be a very glittery kind of day. No, this is not for everyone, but I can appreciate that I get an opportunity to try this. And it is drugstore. So if you guys, oh, I got it on my hair, although. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with it, why not? I'm gonna pop some on here. Ooh, that's a lot. I think this is 
fun. Uh, I'm not even mad at it. The only thing is, Mira, it is so shimmery and glittery and messy, but once it dries, it's not sticky. I can appreciate that. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of a, like a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip it on the very corner of the pot. And then I'm just gonna kinda tap some in here. Why not? Cause it's cute. This would look so gorge all over the eye. For reals, for reals. Maybe not necessarily for the face. Not everyone wants the shimmers on their cheekbones and stuff, but this is beautiful for all over. I'm gonna just add this all over the lid one day for fun on a like on a day where I don't wanna really apply too much eyeshadow. Believe it or not, I do have those days. Okay, I love this, okay? It looks amazing on the eyes, on the cheeks. It's cute if you kind of want to go for that vibe. Not necessarily an everyday thing, but I love the idea of it. It's a jelly, it's fun. So I'm down for it. And the fact that it's remote, so I'm pretty sure it's super, super affordable. Wait, 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 let me look at the card because I never really remember the price points. $12.95, super affordable, that works. Now we're gonna work on the lips. I am going to do the Too Faced Peachy Bloom Lip Balm in the shade Raspberry Flush. But before doing that, I do wanna dress up the lip a little bit, so I'm gonna use my Nova Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Red 02. And then I'm gonna go in with the lip balm. It's really cute. I love that it has a little heart. It smells nice, like berries. And I add the little pink hue to the lips, blends in with the lip liner, kinda works. Okay, I think this turned out really, really cute. I like all of the products. I have zero complaints thus far. First impressions, everything was really nice. I do wanna continue to try that primer once my tan is gone because, I don't know, I, I, I feel like my skin looks kinda of funky, but at the same time, like I told you guys, I really haven't done my skincare for about a week now and it's reacting in a weird way and not in a, not, a, not in a very beautiful, graceful way as my skin usually reacts. So we are gonna try that primer again and again once my skin is in a better condition. All in all, I think that the May-June Chic Beauty box was actually a really, really good box. Very good month, nice variation. You got anywhere from Rare Beauty to Clarins and freaking Fenty, that is awesome. I know some people got Kevin Aquan, NARS, so the idea that they have these kind of brands in this beauty box to me is amazing. And the fact that a lot of people don't want monthly beauty boxes anymore, you're more open to the bi-monthly, I do think this would be a really nice option for you guys. Again, remember there's always a discount code in the description box for you guys, that way you don't have to pay full price. But I do wanna hear you guys' thoughts. What do you think? Is this a box you would've paid for and would've been happy with, or is this a box you would've skipped on always make sure you're chiming in or down below in the comment section you guys know i always want to hear your feedback i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys